Hi there, I'm Peter Millard and in today's 10 minute workshop I show you how I fit the drop down doors into a face frame for a bed base. That's coming up next. So when I did my no video sometimes video recently, the job that I was actually talking about then was sort of a study refurbishment, which happened to have a, a day bed in it. Uh, the job itself was pretty humdrum, kind of beige box thing that I've done a thousand times already. But the only interesting part was the, the bed base. Uh, and I did find time to shoot a little bit of video about how I fit the drop down doors into the face frame for that bed base. So I just thought I'd talk you through, this is the bed base, uh, the front face of the bed base of the face frames with the drop down doors uh, on magnetic catches. And I just thought I'd talk you through the process uh, of actually fitting the doors, because obviously if you fit a door within a frame like this, it's got to fit, you know, <laughs> there's, no, uh, there's no room, very little margin for error really. Uh, and it's not difficult, it's just a little bit fiddly sometimes. So uh, first thing we've got to do is uh, fit the hinges, then we can fit the hinges uh, to the base rail, and then we'll adjust the door to make sure it fits nice and snug. Um, the, the bed base is pretty simple, it's a face frame with a couple of rails, top and bottom, uh, there'll be a base going into this as well, so this rail immediately behind the face frame is going to have to come out. This is what the hinges mount onto, because obviously there's a reasonable amount of stress uh, when you open and close a door like this, and I may actually change these hinges for fully opening ones. These are only 110 degree. Uh, I may change those for 170, so this comes all the way down. But for now, we'll leave, we'll leave that for now. These are all going to have to come out again because basically there's a, a base for the bed. Uh, obviously there's a bed base up here, but underneath there's a base because they want to keep bedding and stuff in, in here. It's going into a spare room. It's actually going to be a study, but it'll be an occasional spare room. So this is going to be plenty strong enough for occasional use. Uh, and the bed itself is connected, uh, joined with domino connectors. Just, just very simple. And there'll be metal corner plates. Uh, as well, and of course the base will be fixed, which will tie it all together as well. Uh, but for the doors, they're going to mount onto this back rail. Uh, this is screwed through from the back into the front of the face frame. And again, once I've got the door in position, uh, we'll put a couple of screws. And, and once it's fitted, once the base is in and it's in situ in the room, I'll put a couple of screws straight through beneath the hinge plates. Uh, the hinge mounting plates to, to tie everything together really really firmly directly under where the where the hinges come but again just to get this one in uh, I'll just show you how the uh, how we go about fitting uh, the hinges uh, and the door on this to make it nice and snug and it's not it's not difficult it's just a little bit fiddly now I've already mounted the hinges into the door uh, the doors are marked left and right so I knew which hole they go in there you know they were pretty close but they were made to fit, so we might as well keep them in the right way around. And I've just put a pencil mark uh, in the hinges as well, so that we know which door they refer to. And all we're going to do is just offer this up into the opening. And we're going to use some of our little plastic packers just to settle this into the frame. Not quite two mil all round, I don't think. About one and a half or a sixteenth of an inch in the old mini. There's adjustment on the hinge, so we can do the final tweaking afterwards. And as I say, these are going to have to come out anyway, and they'll be fully fitted when we get on site. But that's us kind of evened up for now. And all we do, we go round the back with our little awl, our tailor's awl or clicker's awl. We can just put a couple of points in the timber where the screws need to go. Then we can pop the door off, drill out the hinge positions and fit the hinge plates.
Now because this wooden batten at the back here is ever so slightly lower than the front face, it would actually be binding slightly. So I'm just going to raise the hinges up a little bit on the adjustment. Stops that happening and gives us a more even gap all around. In fact, it can come up a little bit more. Yep, that's better. And then it could just probably go back a fraction as well. So for the door catches, I'm using some nicer quality magnetic catches uh, for the doors. And I'm just going to pop these in. And I'm putting two on each door, just slightly outside the line of the hinge. So, probably so that the, the screw of the outside of the hinge lines up with the inside of this one, so they're just slightly outboard. You can't put them directly behind the, um, the, the cutout for the handle, of course, because there isn't enough meat there. But again, these are just sort of marked as close as possible to the top of the door without touching, and just a little pinprick from the awl to mark the position. Then we can drill those out with a fine two mil drill. them in place with a couple of 3 by 12 mil screws. And then the easiest thing to do is to take the clamps off, drop this flat, so we keep this as a flat reference, and then we can fit the catches in. So yeah, that's the uh, the front of the bed base sorted. Uh, drawer might still need to go back a little way. I'd say these will be tweaked a little bit on site because all of this has got to come out in order to be delivered. But uh, yeah, uh, all we've got to do on this now is get the domino connectors in, make sure they fit, pre-drill for the corner plates, make sure the bed base fits, uh, all that kind of stuff. But really, that's that's pretty much all there is to it. And so, fingers crossed, we'll get that sorted. And then the only other thing to do is the big cabinet. Again, just get the domino connectors fitted into that as much as we can. And then it's all pretty much ready to go for installation. So get all that wrapped up, ready for delivery. Uh, and make sure I've got all my gear together, ready to rock and roll in, not tomorrow, but the day after. Yeah. And that was that really, the install was a bit of a slog, uh, lots of tools and materials to carry up to the second floor room 
where this was uh, going to be installed. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I've posted a few pictures of the actual uh, install there. Very, very tight on space. Uh, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, give it a try. Uh, I used to be a photographer, so I, I take a decent snap. I post to Instagram most days, including trailers for my uh, YouTube videos. So give it a shot at 10 Minute Workshop on Instagram. But that's it for this week. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, and don't forget that one of the best ways not to miss one of my videos is to subscribe to the channel. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit that bell then you'll be notified whenever I put up something new or whenever YouTube decides to do it because it's a bit flaky to be perfectly honest. But that's it for this week. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.